Hi, this is Mark Sanborn, and today I want to talk briefly about the positive power of a bad example. From Hollywood to Wall Street to Washington, D.C., the media is full of examples of famous people behaving badly. While many of us decry the negative influence that these people have on our kids and our culture, I want to suggest that we can learn from their bad examples, that we can use those bad examples positively if we extract the right lessons. I think we need to talk to our kids and our colleagues and to the people that we lead about those examples and find out how they feel, the assumptions or conclusions that they're drawing from the bad behavior of others. Importantly, I think we need to ask the question, what's fundamentally wrong with what those people are doing? What was their downfall and what is the warning in it for us? If there's any positive power to be derived from a bad example, it's that that bad example is a big red warning flag that says, don't do these things because if you do, you could suffer similar consequences. It's important that we look at what's going on in the world around us in the way of bad examples, not just as water cooler fodder that wastes our time, but as teachable moments from which we can extract lessons if we engage people in serious dialogue so that we too can avoid the bad examples that others are exhibiting.